Hello friends, I Priyanka Khan, Assistant Professor in Zoology, Department of Sciences at Biani Group of Colleges, welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPU.com. Today I am going to deliver lecture on clover leaf model of transfer RNA. Transfer RNA is also called as soluble RNA and it is a kind of ribose nucleic acid which takes part in the synthesis of protein. There are some special features in transfer RNA and that is it is soluble RNAs. Its molecular weight is about 25,000 to 30,000 Daltons and it is single polynucleotide chain which has some unusual bases like pseudouridine, dihydrouridine, ionosine, etc. And it consists of about 73 to 93 bases. Today uh, we will discuss on clover leaf model of the transfer RNA. It is secondary configuration of transfer RNA where the single stranded polynucleated chain gets folded on itself and forms a special appearance which looks like a clover leaf. So it is named as the clover leaf model. This model was proposed by Robert Hawley in 1965. According to this model, this structure has some arms and there are total five arms. In each arm there are stem and loops. Stem is formed by the base pairing of complementary bases and loop is formed due to absence of base pairing. The first arm is called amino acid acceptor arm. As the transfer RNA's function is to carry over amino acids which is raw material for protein synthesis to the ribosome. So, the transfer RNA has a site for binding to the amino acid in the cell. The acceptor arm accepts amino acids at its 3 prime end and after binding of amino acid, this whole transfer RNA gets activated and forms as amino acid active transfer RNA. This arm, amino acid acceptor arm has some base pairs and uh, at 5 prime end there is guanine and at 3 prime end there are <coughs> CCA sequence at 3 prime end. The second arm is called DHU arm or amino acid synthetase arm. At this site, amino acid synthetase enzyme binds to the transfer RNA which helps in binding amino acid to the transfer RNA. This arm is also named as DHU arm because of presence of uh, unusual base dihydrouridine. This has, this arm has a stem of about 4 base pairs and 7 to 8 base and base pairs, uh, bases are present in the DHU loop. The second arm is called anticodon arm which main significant part is anticodon sequence. This is the triplet sequence which is complementary to the codons which is present on messenger RNA. During protein synthesis, the messenger RNA's codons is the messenger RNA codon makes pairing with the anticodons and accordingly which amino acids is bind to the transfer RNA. It means this sequence represents uniqueness of transfer RNA and also which amino acid is to be bind to the transfer RNA is decided by the sequence of anticodons. The next arm is called TUC arm or ribosome binding site. As the name suggests, this is the site where ribosome binds to the transfer RNA. So the carrying amino acids is carried to the ribosomes where transfer RNA binds to the ribosome and protein synthesis starts. So this is the site where ribosome binds, where transfer RNA binds to the ribosome. And this is also named as TUC loop because of presence of a sequence thymine, pseudouracine and cytosine in the TUC loop. And this stem is called TUC stem. Between these two arms, that is TUC arm and anticodon arm, there is a variable arm which is <coughs> named because the sequence of nucleotide bases, the number varies here in the variable arm. 
Because of this, this is known as the variable arm. According to the size of variable arm, the transfer RNA can be of two types, class 1 tRNA and class 2 tRNA. The class 1 tRNAs are small in size, it means the number of nucleotides in the variable arm is less and class 2 tRNA is large in size where number of variable, number of nucleotides varies and it, its number is more in class 2 tRNA. But the population of class 1 tRNA is about 75 percent in the cell and population of class 2 tRNA is about 25 percent in the cell. In the last, the main function of transfer RNA is it carries amino acid to the ribosome which is the factory of protein synthesis. So, it acts like a carrier for the raw material amino acid. Thank you, thank you and thank you. For more details, kindly visit our website www.gurukpo.com.